Okay, let's do a um, a bridge example, um, which uses the same ideas as the seesaw, just a little bit more complicated. So the first one is identify the pivot point. Now this is a, a big step. With the seesaw um, example, go back a page. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, the seesaw example we had, the pivot point was pretty obvious. It was um, it was in the middle where it pivoted. Here we've got two things, and we can choose any one of these to be our pivot point for our calculations. So we could choose um, this point, or we could choose um, the point on the other side. Let's just to, to make it easy. Let's choose this point. So I draw a big draw a big dot there, so it's very clear that's my pivot point. Okay. Draw the forces where they act. Okay, so we've got F1 is already there, but I'll, I'll draw it in the red, so you can see F1, F2 is there. Now we can't ignore the weight of the bridge, and this is a little toy bridge, and it weighs 1 kg. So I've got my force acting, and it, the weight of the bridge acts through the middle of the bridge. So you'll notice that that's 2 metres on this side, 2 metres on the other side. It's 1 kg, so um, uh, the force is equal to 1 kg times 9.8, which is equal to 9.8 newtons. I'm going to change this example. This is exactly the same question in your book, um, so that you don't just, so you've still got the question in your book to do. Let's make this 1.5 kgs. So 1.5. Um, so the force there of this little toy truck, 1.5, is uh, 1.5 times 9.8, and that's 14.7 uh, newtons. So I've got my four forces, F1, 14.7, 9.8, and F2. And that I've chosen this. I could have chosen and done the uh, whole calculations down this end, got the same answers, but I'm just going to choose this one for now. So I've done, identify the pivot point, I've done the draw the forces. Write down the distances to the pivot point. Okay, so this, uh, the truck is, well, F1 is at the pivot point, so it's got a distance of zero. The truck has a distance of one meter. The, um, the weight of the bridge itself has a distance of two meters. And F2 on the other side has a distance of four meters. Okay, identify the clockwise and anti-clockwise torques. So from this pivot point, if I imagine my whole beam rotating, so if I was to draw it, um, imagine it could rotate. Imagine it could either rotate up or it could uh, rotate down. What are the forces um, trying to rotate it this way? And what are the forces trying to rotate it this way? So if I look at what the forces are, and this is uh, clockwise and this is anti-clockwise. What's my forces trying to rotate it clockwise? Is it the truckers? That's the one, one of the ones pulling it down this way. And the, um, and the weight of the bridge, that's a clockwise force as well. And then what's pulling it back the other way or, or doing the opposite of the clockwise? This F2. So this is an, this is an anti-clockwise torque. And then I set up my equation. So my, uh, my, Clockwise torques times distances are equal to my, um, let's do it as this, and clockwise torques equals to anti-clockwise torques, which is equal to force times distance, anti times the distances of them. So my clockwise forces are 14.7 um, newtons times one meter. And I've also got plus this one here, 9.8 times 2 meters, and that equals my F2, which I don't know yet, uh, times 4 meters. So now I've could got a whole bunch of numbers I can solve this. So let's simplify these ones. 14.7 times 1 is 14.7 newton meters, and 9.8 times 2 is 19.6 newton meters, equals um, times 4. I'm going to add these two together, so plus 19.8. Got 34.5 newton meters equals F2 times 4 meters. I'm going to divide both sides by 4 meters, and that gets me divide by 4. 
0.625 newtons. And that's equal to my F2. Okay, so notice when I chose the pivot point to be on the left, I ended up working out the one on the right. So if I'd started again and chosen my pivot point to be on the right and done the same calculations, I would have worked out the F1. The other thing I can do is I can set up a separate equation and just deal with the forces. So here I dealt with the torques, now I'm going to deal with the forces. And in this case, I know the down forces equal the up forces. I know that because the bridge doesn't move. So my down forces are 14.7 newtons. I've also got 9.8 newtons. And my up forces are F1, which I don't know, plus um, this one I've worked out, 8.625. And so then I can just rearrange and solve this. So 14.7 um, plus 9.8 equals and subtract 8.625. So that gives me for F2, so F1 equals 15.875. Great. Um, where you go.